Beat it again. And now he'll try to bunt his way on to start the game. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Did it again. If you don't pick up your mind quickly to pitch it, it lets you go on the song. Take a look at the defensive alignment for the Dodgers. I don't like that. Brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of no. Major League Baseball. I, I wanted to back off the mound, but I guess I, should, well, I picked the pitch by mistake. And, uh... swing but it's strike one anyway says the home plate umpire and not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time well he's got him in the palm of his hand now it's 0-2 well that's a good location for the fastball that's what he'll need to do try to get the hitters to expand their zone get these guys reaching for stuff off the plate 0-2 oh, is a fastball that misses inside. One and two now. Hey! That guy in his kitchen big time right there. Now the one-two pitch from Kershaw. And this ball will be chopped foul. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man in. Ball hits sharply toward third. And this is past Uribe on down the line. A fair ball. Brandon Phillips will get his first shot now with the runner at first following the one-out single. Set by Kershaw, now the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And he just gets a piece of it. I didn't throw a pitch. I was, I was, I was looking over the day and just pissing me off. I was busy looking. At the, uh, the guy with the inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. I was looking at the guy running. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. Kershaw will slide one over to first, and he's back standing. Runner at first here, one man out. Now another one-two. Now he tried to hold back, but this is popped up. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Ramirez back to Gonzalez, but it's a bit too late, and they'll settle for just the one out. Joey Votto will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. I don't think there's any intent with that. That might be just to let him know that he's out there. And this is fouled back and out of play. Check swing. No swing, says the home. Oh, come on. Ball two. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Down the pitch, and he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Now a throw and a dive, but he's back in. Oh, 
He's running towards second. Pitch inside the throw, and it's not in time. A stolen base for Phillips. And later in the game, hey, maybe that was a you question this decision to run because you worry about taking the bat out of the hands of one of your best hitters. But here in a scoreless game, I doubt they're going to put him on. So that was a good job to take what's given to you. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the Thank inning you. is over. Reds leave one. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. D. Gordon will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Grounded foul. Fouled straight back. <sighs> Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here to show him a change up, give him a different look. Now a bunt attempt here. The tag, and he is out. See, I don't like that. You tell a guy jump back there this like that while running. There at first. You can see this throw Who? is huh? well offline, and it pulls him off the bag. Your That's guy, your your uh, your the guy was off. The guy, in other words, he just like he jumped. It, like he didn't even run to the base. He jumped a frame. He probably just said no. He jumped a frame. Yasiel Puig is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Good there one. Gone. Yeah, you, you yeah, cause was, and that was your guy. It looked like there's no way he's going to catch me, but all of a sudden he just like, instead of running, he just jumps back like a whole inch without even turning around. We'll get his first cuts now, and he'll yeah. do so with the bases empty and like, two away here in the first. Now the first pitch. And this is fought off. Yeah, I didn't mean to swing it there. Oh. Change up. Pitch by Cueto, a bouncing ball for Frazier at third. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. After one. Yeah, because it looked like I said, dang, I definitely got you beat. Also, the whole boy jumps back the whole field. Like, what the we'll heck? Things off here as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second. Now, here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Chris Heisey will dig in here. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. No score here as we play inning number two. Ball one. Ooh. You might have felt the squeeze on that one. That might just change the whole complexion of the at-bat. And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. And two quick outs here in the second. Now, once the sun goes down here, this place plays a again, much different ballpark. Case in point right there. That ball oh. had no carry whatsoever. Hey, it, it was. I didn't know what was going on for sure neither. I said, hey, I hope I get back here in time. Ryan Ludwig. Oh, come on. Swing here on the first pitch come and on. It's one and oh. uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. Yeah. 
starts to go around with the whole thing. I'm starting to feel bad. I'm starting to feel bad. Sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. Here's the 2 0. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. We started making no bonehead mistakes so far. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. No. Adrian Gonzalez will start things off in the bottom of the second. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Throw on to first in time, one away. This is a pretty simple play for a catcher right here. It's a nice pitch, and it looks like he might have chopped it right down off the home plate. You can see the catcher get out of his crouch, take it on one big hop, and then yep, just make the, the good small throw to first to get him easily. Matt Kemp stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. 2013, a second straight injury-filled season for Kemp, wound up playing in just 73 ballgames following 106 the year before. But if you go back to 2011, he was one homer away from finishing with a 40-40 campaign. And that's only happened four times in history, so that tells you how good he was that year. And he's bunting here with two strikes, but he misses, and that's a I didn't mean to do that with the face. <laughs> but to play around and come back. Andre Ethier get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. And over toward the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. A swing and a miss by Ethier. He falls behind nothing in two now. And I'll tell you, being in a two strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. We'll move to the third. I know you no feel. Brian Pena is ready to go here as we begin the third. And this is swung on and lifted in the air for Ethier in left. And very quickly, one gone. Boy, they are just making life easy for this guy. Swinging on the first pitch of the inning, pretty routine fly ball. It's been a cakewalk here early on. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. Hey, come on. Yeah, you can tell right there. 0 and 2, he's just thinking about protecting the plate. And he nearly chased a bad one there. But he caught himself at the last possible instant. And did he go around? No, come he on. did not. Ball you know, two. So I'm getting, you know, some umpire is really messing up here, man. Now Kershaw delivers a 2-2. And this is going to be a foul ball. There's a check swing, a foul ball. 
Come on, this is a picture. Are you not messing around? Now a fastball that's popped up out towards short right field. And he's going to get there after a long run as he gloves it for the second out. If these guys want to keep it fly ball. He did his job, though. Let me throw a lot of pitches, son of a pitcher. Especially when it's the guy down near the bottom of the line. Billy Hamilton will stand in. Now a check swing, but he holds I'll get a little mad at this, man. Come on now. swing here but he does so in time yeah he started to go up the ladder there but then he realized in time that he wasn't going to get there fouled back and he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop This ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. That's out to left. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Okay, I tell you what, that, that baseball can't move around. I said, dang, that stuck no is uh, trying to give me to a water check. I want to run to the water check like your guy did. <laughs> you ran right into that bad boy. One Aribe makes his way to the plate to get a start Aribe, here Aribe. at the bottom of inning number three. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. There's that slider truly in an unhittable spot. It's one and one. And I think he'll keep riding that pitch until these guys prove they can do something with it. Good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. Swing and a miss, and he's got Damn. that strikeout pitch working now. That's three in a row for him as there's one away. Uh, I know my job here is to be an analyst and and to try and add some insight to what's happening on the field. But folks, the words cannot describe it. See you that, but I ain't getting it right at all. I'm not even going to try. Okay, Ellis. I kept you in here. Oh, no, it's not. This is not the guy. Started to go around, but it's ruled Okay, I'm doing it again. I'm tapping it. He's got a good it. pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0 and 2. Right now, they'd be lucky to just put one in play. I can't get him to bite this time. It's 1 and 2. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball, or he's Thank got to foul that thing off. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. He'll try again, one, two. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. They get four strikeouts in a row as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Yeah, both these two starters are matching each other in the early stride for stride. He's an out of way now from one, two, three, bottom of the third. Clayton Kershaw will stand in here hoping to pick up his club's first hit in the contest. First pitch coming. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. And he pulled up in 
time, but it's a cold strike too. the same thing I did the other day, but I got to stop doing do that. Hold the button, man. Huh? A bad pitch, a bad pitch. been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 and 2. Ready with another 0 2. Now a ball lined to the right side. Kershaw. And that will be the first base hit of the ball game for the Dodgers. Surprised you came in there because uh, you had like three balls to throw. Eight up, eight down before he stepped in. He's saying, well, what's so hard about this? D. Gordon will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And I believe they'll say he broke the same plane thing. as Hold, yes, he okay, did. It's done, rule of strike. Why do you keep doing the same damn thing? Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On now the top of inning number four. Zach Kozar will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. That's strike one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off in half bat. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right, and that's a fair ball. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. I want to take another look at this because this was close down the right why. line. Is it a fair ball? Yeah, not by a whole lot, but they probably should let it right. roll. He'll get into second here with a double. Brandon Phillips will stand in. We're not listening to what you got to say, man. You're supposed to say that. No lead to speak of at second. Here's the pitch. And this is fouled straight back. And this one misses to Phillips. It's a ball and a strike. Here's his swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Ethier is there and he makes the catch for the out. And he will make it back in there. He's safe at second base. A uh, fly ball to the left's not going to do you any good in this situation. Look, you got a guy on second and nobody out. If you take this to right field and advance a runner, you know, then at least you've made a productive out. Instead, this is just a waste. Joey Votto is at the plate as he watches ball one. Short lead from second, now the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. And now they've got a man out there with nowhere to go. And he'll reach first as really they can't make really the play stunk. on him. He stunk on that play, Ryan. He really stunk. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. Oh, boy. Todd Frazier will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Throw over to the bag. Back in standing. Pickoff throw to third. Don't want to forget about it. And he'll miss the target away with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. And you can see it. He's upset with himself out there at short. And he should be. He's a big leaguer. He'd like to get a ground ball here to get himself off the hook. 1-0 on the way. 
Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third, but a foul ball, one and one. Now a slider that swung on and hit in the air out toward left. Ethier is there. Let's see if they test it. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. More ahead from Dodger Stadium right after this. Yasiel Puig will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now the first pitch. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. Dang. Oh, and it's not often you see a guy like that flail so badly up there, but that was a great pitch for route number one. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up a pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both guys bringing it pretty good. A couple of matching 94s as the two top speeds thus far. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Pitch by Cueto, a bouncing ball for Frazier at third. On to first, and there were two down. Gotta pull it. Very quickly, five pitches and two outs here in the fourth. Well, those are the kind of innings you love to have if you plan on working deep into a ball game. Adrian Gonzalez is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Uh, I, I think if you gave him another chance, he'd be swinging at that one. I'm trying to get the guy to throw some pitches. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. And you'd be in trouble at the plate if you fell behind 0-2 against this guy, so he's fortunate to hold up in time. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball, one and two. He's just cutting his way right through the teeth of this order. They're not even putting up much of a fight. Foul back. Him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Oh. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Through four, still tied. My guys get frustrated. They're throwing it. Chris Heisey will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. And here's the first pitch. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. I think we expected to see a well-pitched game coming in, and, and we got one. Starting to look like the team who scores first might be the one who wins. Now this pitch is swung on and lined over the head of the shortstop Ramirez. It's a base hit. Brian Pena will try it again. He flew out his first time. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Ramirez over to Gonzalez, and they get the double play they needed to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We'll come right back with more from Dodger Stadium in just a moment. Yeah, give me it, it's, it's better when the, uh, I'm not, do, I'm not making stupid errors. It makes it a real baseball game. In the order by Andre Ethier waiting his turn on deck. And ooh, a 
I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. I know. That. Come on. Okay. Get patient at the plate. Come on. Got good batters with this. Work. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. So the pitch counts the least of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. He's just having all kinds of trouble up there. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw will not be in time. It's a perfect bunt there. Nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Andre Ethier will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Kemp not going. Here's the pitch. That missed. Close. It's ball two. Well, if he's missing right here, he ain't missing by much. Not getting too many favors behind the plate. Bunt attempt is popped into foul ground. No runs, two hits. One error in the ballgame for the Dodgers to this point. There's the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. And you wonder, maybe he was taken there because he thought his runner was going to be moving from first. Bunt sign still on with two strikes as he puts this one down. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. So a runner on second. Rebay, a rebay. And standing in now, Juan Rebe. This one's by him to the backstop. <laughs> I forgot what to do. But fortunately, no I'm glad I did go because you, you recovered no that pretty quick. Hits, one error in the ballgame for the Dodgers to this point. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. And that's the pitch that they've had trouble with all night long. They just have not been able to stay back on it. This is hit sharply to the left side. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. Pro comes in from Ludwig, and that will hold that runner at third base. A.J. Ellis will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw gets him, two down. Springs to his feet, gets rid of that mass, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Clayton Kershaw. I try to. Uh, I try to pinch it. I was going to beat the in. Cannot take it easy on the pitcher here with two outs. He can't do it now. He already swung. Drive home too, so you need to be thinking strikeout all the way. Hold up, hold up, hold up! I pushed the wrong button. Hold up. Don't let me do nothing. I got a bat. And this is on the ground, but foul past Votto at first. Oh, hold up. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I won't take him out yet anyway. I won't take him out. No, I'm good. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Well, he's got a big pitch coming up here. That would be huge if he could get out of this with the game still even. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the Dang. Dodgers strand a couple sixth inning coming up still zip zip Johnny Cueto will bat for himself here in a tie ball game in the sixth here's the first offering 
And that one's in on the hands to start the you know, inning. I'm going to tell you something right now. Uh, uh, you better get it right, uh, umpire. I don't like it. Some favoritism is up in this piece. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. And if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And a half swing here, but it won't matter. Thank you, Strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Billy Hamilton will step in now, 0 for 2 to this point. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Fouled straight back. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Boy, he is putting on a clinic out there right now. These guys don't know what to look for. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first is in time, so a good idea, but the bunt attempt doesn't pan out. Not a bad idea right here. Runs have been pretty good yeah. at the and He's going to try to lay one down to get something started. But defensively, it was covered well, and they nail him at first. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Now a check swing as he's able to fight this one off. Foul. Swing and a soft liner to the right side. And Gonzalez will take it over himself, and that'll do it. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout inning. D. Gordon will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Now here's the first pitch. Swing here, but Dang. this is in Stop there for a call strike two. <laughs> and that has been the comfort zone so far in this outing. He's just lived on that outside corner, and it's paid big dividends for him. Now a bunt attempt here. Queto is there, and he'll bring this one in. Good work. Can you take a look there at the line from our starter? I mean, basically, he's allowed three singles so far, and that's it. They haven't been able to mount any real opposition against him so far. First pitch on the way. Yasiel Puig stands in as he can't Puig, connect Puig, to your Puig, Puig. Man, not a real I know I'm pushing the button, but you gotta help me out. Be a and now a slider hey, to the all right now, and he's lucky that one didn't come all right, I will run the, I you will uh, throw on the mound. I will do that. That's a good idea to run something in tight. One and two. Boy, he is just wearing guys out with that two-seam fastball. I don't care if it's inside, outside. He's really hitting his spots well. Here's the one-two. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his God. third strikeout of the game. That's my boy, too. Well, it's not going to comfort him any, but it's fair to say that he's not the first guy to strike out three times against that guy out there on the hill. 
He's just the latest in a long line of guys that wore the hat against that man. Hanley Ramirez is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. A lot of these guys have come into these at-bats trying to be the aggressor, trying to make something happen. But what has happened is that they've swung and missed themselves into some early holes. A ball hit hard to the left side. And that'll get down for a two-out single. With some guys, it doesn't matter if it's 0-2 or 2-0. They take the same approach either way. And this right here is one of those guys, and he comes through from being down in the game. Adrian Gonzalez is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. These guys need to get things sorted out at the plate. The discipline just has not been real good. Cutter low, one and one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Fouled back. stays alive here as he gets a piece of this and in turn he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate another one two delivery swing hard hit ball to second throw on to Votto will take care of him at first and the side is retired one left for LA we are still right, straight at you though What inning are we at? How much pitches my boy do? Back here at Dodger Stadium. Not a hundred pitches Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Brandon Phillips. I think a lot of confidence. Here in the top of inning number seven. Here's the first pitch to him. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. One thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Hey, you know something? Up, up. Uh, I'm telling you. No okay, swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Here's the 2 0 -oh pitch. Pitch runs in on him as this is fisted out to the right side of the mound. And Gonzalez takes this one over to first himself for the out. Joey Votto will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. What inning is this? The six or the seven? straight back. And Votto's able to lay off that one as the count turns even to one and one. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order oh, no. that really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good out. Let me tell what happened. I pushed the button. I didn't realize it pushed. So I pushed again. He just threw it right down the center. <laughs> Just about got him in the coconut. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. Swing and a rocket to third. But quick hands over there at third as he takes it for the second out. Wow, and I think a sigh of relief is in order out there on the mound after that one. That's the potential go ahead run if he can get aboard. Instead, it's just a loud lineup. 
First pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go-ahead run. And he'll scramble back to the bag and be there safely. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be a 1-2-3 inning. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there. I knew that was too high, too. I was just hoping it would sink down. Some of Chris Heisey will get an opportunity here in a run-scoring spot now following the two-out double. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. To the hole, left side, and it's through a base hit. Around third is Frazier heading for the plate. And he is out at the plate. Trying to take the lead, but this game's going to remain Hey, I don't blame you if, if he hasn't taken a gamble. And I, and I, and I kind of knew he was going to do it because I think I would have done it under the circumstances. So I said, yeah, he's got to take some chances. Now to lead off the home half of the seventh. This one with the ball, it's 1-0. Oh. Line to left. And that's going to be a base hit, so the possible go-ahead run is on here to start the home half of the seventh. Yeah, and about the only drawback you have to having so many strikeouts is that it really runs that pitch count up. You can see on the graphic right here that that total's starting to get up there now. So we may be getting just a little bit tired. Andre Ethier is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And it looks like the scouting report says, work this guy away. And it's been paying off. And whoever put together that scouting report did a real nice job because this whole team hasn't done much offensively at all. And the throw is late at first, so they can't get anybody out. Boy, here, he's not showing late and trying to beat one out. He's giving himself up to get that runner to second. I mean, you've got to be able to defend this better than they did. That's an out you have to count on getting. One Uribe will stand in. Strikeout hit him his first time, and then a base hit last time around. Now a sacrifice attempt here. And he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score. Yeah, and you know, I don't think that was the right decision. I think he figured that since the ball didn't get too far away from him, that he'd have a better shot. But he underestimated the speed and the jump at second base. Hit hard to the right. Foul. A 
just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Bullpen working behind him, but you know this guy does not want to give up the baseball. And he never does. I just don't think that's in his mentality. Foul back. And they'll ask him to bunt off the bench as he puts this one down. Throw to first, not in time. And the go-ahead run is across the score. So credit him with an RBI as he really caught him by surprise there by dropping that down. Clayton Kershaw will stand in now. He singled and struck out on two trips. Scott Van Slyke will get a chance to really deliver off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the bases loaded and nobody out. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Definitely not what you want to do there. Hitting into an infield fly rule with the bases loaded and nobody out? Wow, what a waste of a great RBI opportunity. D. Gordon will stand in with a big opportunity to pad this lead if he can avoid the double play ball. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. This one off as it's chopped foul. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And they'll apply the tag, and he is out at second. On to first with good hustle as he's able to avoid the double play here. Yasiel Queen will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now the first pitch. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. And even with three runs in here, that guy's still a threat to go at first. He may try and make this inning worse. Now a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Kozar. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retiring. Three runs on four hits. Well, anybody's no game is baseball. Ain't no time. Eighth inning coming. Carl Crawford will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. No, he ain't catching. No, he can't catch. Pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. Now here's one hit pretty well at the straightaway center. Back on the ball is Kim. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. I tell you what I did wrong, Zula. I'm lucky. I'm thinking of holding the trigger. They Fast. I remember holding the trigger makes me switch guys. So I'm lucky I can switch myself right out of it. Oh man. First pitch here is another fly ball. This one out to left field. And the catch made out there by Ethier, and that's out number two. How about this out of the bullpen? Three pitches, two outs. 
Can't do a whole lot better than that. Johnny Cueto will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Hey, you gonna let Quinto play, man? Come on, man. And it looks like we're gonna have a move for a pinch hitter as it's the left-handed hitting Skip Schumacher that starts to loosen up in the on-deck circle. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And that man right there, he's got to figure out some kind of combination to score some runs for him. They have really been scuffling. I got the high fastball there, and he popped it straight up, way up there on the infield. Right. They'll put this one away, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. They trail it. Sam LeCure is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Oh, that's why I pulled the big. I pulled the big. I'm bringing up Wilson. I knew the picture that I had. Supposed to be in there. <laughs> Do it. This guy got the thing on knuckle. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Now the 1-1 one -one to Ramirez. 1-1 one -one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now, 1-2. and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. It's just so hard to lay off that slow changeup. He just did break that swing off in time. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. I hate that knuckle ball. Always did hate the knuckle. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Too high, 1-0. Grade school swing there. It's one and one. Oh, come on, man. You got that. Swings in baseball look pretty ugly. That's what this guy can do to you. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw right there, and that takes care of Gonzalez. Two gone now. Matt Kemp will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. And this ball will be chopped foul. And that's cut on and missed by Kemp as they move ahead of him now, nothing in two. One thing you've got to be aware of is he's going to give you a bit of a variety up there. He's got five pitches, and he's going to use all of them. And a beautiful knuckle curve in there for a goal strike three. Knuckle. I hate that thing. <laughs> No, he's a knuckle, but it's curving too. <laughs> Billy Hamilton will stand in. They've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Yeah, what a Kenley Jansen is on now to try to close things down here in the night. Nice 
ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. One strike offering now to Hamilton. Now he runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bun attempt. Well, you can see what he's trying to do right here. You're close. It's been such a struggle for these guys to score runs so far. He's thinking about taking a little bit of a different approach up there. He had the right idea. It just didn't really work out for him. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And he'll have himself a base hit. He's around first on his way to second. Now. I don't get greedy now, Zula. Huh? Brandon Phillips will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Did my first mistake. I paired it and pushed the wrong button. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I was right at the bay. I didn't have to throw nothing. It's Joe touching Yamato and throw. Oh, boy. See? To get on track as they've been able to neutralize That's his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line. Woo! But back into the crowd. <laughs> and he pops him up behind the bag at second and no one can get there as it falls and they get the force for the second out and he will pull in the second with a double and now they've got a man caught out there oh boy, oh boy. You don't see this all that <laughs> I tell you what, it's funny because I wasn't paying no attention until they said, oh, we got people, a guy kind of caught up there. I just went, I'm just chilling out. He comes up firing from the outfield position, and they wind up getting a force on this play. Todd Frazier is in the two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Runners left in scoring position, one of the big keys to this ball game so far. There's a drive out toward the alley in right center, and Kemp and Puig are going to have to track this one down as it gets all the way to the wall. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. Oh, come on, man. I don't my clothes in here. He's messing up. When you do, he normally does something like this. This is a bolt right here. You could hang your laundry on this one and it's going to wind Good up one. scoring too. Huh. What you got on the screen? Do the mind says the show froze. Oh, here we go. Chris Heisey will work now on getting that tying run home from second. Trying to shut the door, and he has not had an easy time. Of it. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. Oh and no! It was wide as he couldn't keep his foot on the bag that time. <laughs> we'll oh come on! No man, I'm telling you, come on man. Ryan come on. See what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home here in the inning so far. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. This is. One oh on the way. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Let's it fly 2-0, but this one's by him for the first strike. And when he's in a jam, he's going to reach back for a little something extra on that fastball. Boy, that's nice to have in reserve. And the 
Davis is fouled back and out of play. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. There we go. Oh, he's not squaring as the pitch is a ball. And they will put the tag on him. They got him. And with that, the ball game is over. Good one. Great game. I thought I struck you out, man. Great game, though. He was tagging my closer big time. God, dog. Oh. He almost gave the game away. Dang, Jensen. You had a terrible outing, Jensen. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final. Well, yeah, well, it was fun. It was fun. You only one error in the game. That's good. All right, you a good one, man. Hey, that's right. There's no, there's no playoff games for the next two days, right? But. And guys, a Dodger victory may not right. have been possible here without the start turned in by this man, Clayton Kershaw. He's our tops player of the game. And this is what you want out of your starter. Gives him seven strong innings, sets things up perfectly for his bullpen to get the final six out. He's going to walk away with a victory. So that's a wrap here tonight. My partners in the booth, Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it. That's a good game. Good game. Good night from Los Angeles. Me and my boy Zula.